Hey kids, here I am at the local laundromat. I'm going to read this awesome book to you. It's called Smitten. It's a lint-free love story. A little uncomfortable. Okay, I'm going to kneel. <laughs> Smitten by David Gordon. Smitten. One cold afternoon, a mitten sat atop a fence post. Sir, mitten called out. A man bustled by with a basket overflowing with laundry. Something is falling out of your... And there, on the ground, lay a single sock. Sock barely stood up before a bunch of school kids trampled on him. Are you okay? Mitten yelled down. Oh, I'm used to being walked on, Sock said with a cheerful voice. Hey, what are you doing up there by yourself? I used to be part of a pair, Mitten said sadly. Now I'm alone and lost. Wow, said Sock, I guess I am too. Mitten jumped off the fence post. Without my right mitten, she said, I'm just a left. Sock was neither a left nor a right, but he knew what she meant. As they set off through the park, Mitten covered her nose. What's wrong? Sock asked. I hate to break this to you, said Mitten, but you don't smell so good. <laughs> Poor Sock. All of a sudden, Mitten was caught, flipped, and flung through the air. She landed in the trash. Hey, what are you doing in there? Sock called. Sock pushed and pushed until the garbage can fell over. Mitten tumbled out, brushed herself off, and grumbled. Sock wrinkled his nose. Now look who doesn't smell so good. <laughs> or now smell who doesn't smell so good. <laughs> By now, Mitten was cold, dirty, and downright annoyed. Probably like the people at the laundromat. <laughs> Just kidding. They passed a grocery store and then a pet store. Stop. Sock stopped in front of a laundromat. See? Laundromat. It was closed, but he had an idea. Let's sneak in and get clean. Mitten shrugged and followed. They snuck in, just like me. I, I snuck in. Just kidding. It's open. Wow, they both whispered in awe. The shiny machines towered above them like skyscrapers. Too bad we don't have any money, Mitten said. Don't worry, said Sock, and he wiggled under the dryer. Four quarters shot out. Emerged, smiling and covered with lint, came Sock. Mitten couldn't help but giggle. Look at him. He's covered in lint. He's a goofy little sock, isn't he? <laughs> Mitten... The water is perfect. Come on in, Sock called as he bobbed in the bubbles. Even Mitten had to admit it looked pretty fun. She tested the water and then eased herself into the warm, soapy suds. The two played splashing each other until, ding, the wash cycle was done. <laughs> we better get dry, Mitten said, and she put a quarter in the dryer. They spun round and round. Yippee, Sock shouted. But when Sock stumbled out, he was not only very dizzy, he had shrunk small enough to fit on a baby doll. You should have told me you were wool, Mitten muttered. They made their way out to the sidewalk. Sock was so tiny that he fell behind. Uh-oh, poor Sock is really small now. Suddenly, two dogs jumped out from the corner and grabbed him. They tugged and they pulled and they stretched Sock. Oh, back to ten times his size. Put my friend down, yelled Mitten, charging to the rescue. The dogs were so surprised they dropped Sock and took off. And now he's big. Well, it's really long anyway. I don't feel so good, Sock moaned. What would you do without me, Mitten sighed and threw him over her shoulder. Mitten couldn't see where she was going and walked over a metal grate. She and Sock both fell through the holes. Down they tumbled, threw over, thumb over heel, through the darkness and landed on the subway tracks. Mitten started to cry. Now I'll never find my other half. Don't worry, Mitten, we'll be all right, Sock said. No, we won't, Mitten shouted, pointing at the giant lights beaming down on them. The train zoomed over them, and one of Mitten's threads got caught on the undercarriage. Oh, no. She unraveled into one very, very long piece of yarn. Oh, I don't feel so good, Mitten said. Don't worry, Mitten, I'm right here, said Sock. And he gathered her up in a ball and hopped up the subway stairs. After a lot of searching, Sock finally found a knitting store and snuck in. He grabbed a set of knitting needles and a good how-to book. I'll fix you right up, Mitten. This will never work, Mitten groaned. But Sock kept knitting through the night to put his friend back together. The sun was rising by the time Mitten saw her reflection in a hubcap. <gasps> Sock wasn't the best knitter in the world, but despite all her new lumps and bumps, she still looked like a Mitten. You did great, Sock, Mitten said. 
What are friends for? Sock smiled. They walked up to the department store window and looked inside. Every sock, mitten, and glove had a match. They all looked so happy. And that's when Mitten realized something. What do you think Mitten realized? After everything we've been through, I think we make the perfect pair. The two friends hugged. And from then on, they were smitten. Oh, it is so cute. And that is the end. Yay, let's jump up and down at the laundromat. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Hi, see you next time. <laughs>